Hi, today I have two questions for you with multiply answers. Uh, you may stop video here, choose the correct answer and uh, then uh, run video again and compare your answer with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. Uh, portions of DNA molecules that do not contain the codes for proteins are called and here is the three answers. I want to cross out mutagens because mutagens is completely uh, answer that does not uh, relate to our question. Mutagens can be chemical substances that influence DNA and DNA replication. Uh, this also can be um, radiation. So this has nothing to do with our uh, question and we left with uh, answer A and B, introns and exons. Uh, so here would be, for example, DNA molecule and some portion of it, for example, from here to here, uh, going to be a gene and with it, within that gene there is two types of um, fragments that uh, f some of them uh, can be uh, exons and some can be introns. So I, w I use white color for the introns. So when message RNA uh, produced, this also would contain uh, introns and exons, but when uh, mature message RNA is produced, so this uh, introns would be excessive and we will get a shorter version of the gene without introns, so this uh, would correlate to this piece of, this fragment would correlate to this piece number one, for example, this is going to be number one, this one would be piece number two, and this one, piece number three. So this is a mature message RNA. And as you see, introns doesn't code for uh, any uh, uh, protein. So we have correct answer A and we cross out uh, answer B. So here is the second question. Which of the following statements is true regarding DNA code? Answer A. Each of the 64 types of codons in DNA and RNA code for a different amino acid. And this is not true because we do have 64 types of codons but we only have 20 different types of amino acids. So uh, this is incorrect answer. Answer C. DNA replication has in, uh, a built-in mechanism that prevents or corrects all the errors. I have to cross out this uh, answer also, though it looks like uh, this is correct answer. But still, uh, every time when a new organism is born, for example in humans, 20 to 30 new mistakes arise de novo that uh, were not, was not present in the parent organisms. So um, this is mechanism for uh, evolution and accumulation of such mistakes uh, give a rise to new varieties and new species. So uh, those, this uh, mechanism of uh, errors correction is very efficient, but still it is not ideal. And uh, actually that's good, that it's not ideal, or we would still be uh, unicellular uh, creatures. But thanks to mutations, we are who we are. So we left only with answer B, not all codons specify amino acid components to be included in a protein. And that's true, we have three codons, that is top codons. And this is uh, U, A, G, 
u a a and u g a and we also call them uh, this one amber and this one ochre and this one opal so this stop codon serve for um, end of the translation of the message RNA into protein and when uh, ribosome reach these three nucleotides uh, protein would be released and also leads to dissociation of the ribosome subunits from the message RNA. So this is all for today. I hope you were able to learn something new today. So here is the answer, B correct answer. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, also you may ask me questions uh, in the comments and I will try to make a video in response to them. That's all for today. Goodbye.